visitors and that completes that at this time. If they will for recognition. Um, um, once again, the Usher Board sponsoring the Mason Jar Rally for your coins. So see one of the ushers for your jar if you haven't already done so. This afternoon at 1.30 at Cumberland United Methodist Church, um, they'll have in their annual camp meeting revival. They're asking for Reverend Dwight along with St. John. Saturday, September 23rd at 9 o'clock at First Zion Baptist Church. We'll be having their women's ministry prayer breakfast. The Reverend Sharon White and Unity Baptist Church from Bronx, New York is their speaker. And on Sunday, September the 22nd at 2 o'clock, at St. Paul CME Church, they're having their annual camp meeting revival, and they're asking for Reverend Polite along with St. John. Also, um, we're still collecting for those who still want to turn in their money for church anniversary. So you can see me in the back. And also, I'm still looking for these sheets. We're trying to get the um, these to the deacon so they'll know all on their um, on their wards. So I appreciate people getting those back. Let the church say amen. Amen. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Amen. I'd like to take time out just, just for a moment. We should have compassion. And compassion means when you can feel the pain of somebody else.
give to each and every one of you. We greet you in the name of Jesus, who sits the right to all rest and fishing and all but all of our deacons and deaconess, choirs and ushers and all my sisters and brothers in Christ. We greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Y'all doing all right? Y'all ready for a word? Amen. We got a word for you today. Amen. Mark chapter 4. We're not going to be very long. Amen. Uh, we expected to be at Cumberland. What time? For us, 1 o'clock. You know how we are. Amen. Mark chapter 4. There is life besides church. And I'm looking back in my mind to a song that was sang by Hal Melvin in the Blue Notes. Said, if you don't know me by now, chances are you ain't never gonna know me. I'll bring those words this morning in the name of Jesus. If you don't know him by now, chances are you ain't never going to know him. Reverend Polite, why would you say such a thing to me? Because if we can't thank him, unless he point out blessing, if we can't thank him even when there's pain on your body, you ain't gonna ever know me. Hello. If you don't remember when you didn't know where your next meal, chances are you ain't gonna know it. Amen. So this morning, in the name of Jesus, we want to look at the word today and ask ourselves the question: Do you really know it? I can tell you one thing. He's not marked, and he's not dead. Come on. Amen. Amen. Y'all ready for work? Amen. Okay, you got your Bibles? Amen. Everybody got their Bibles? Amen. Okay. Squeeze your Bible for a minute and say, In my hand, In my hand I, have I have the Word of God. The word of God. And, I will hear and I will hear and hearken, and hearken unto it. Unto in Jesus' name. Now you just made a vow in the front of witnesses and God. You said, am I right? Now I asked you, but you didn't have to say. Amen? But you said it, so God expects you to hearken unto his word. And if you got the word, you got God. Amen. Uh, but this morning we want to take a look at this word from Mark chapter 4. Amen. Uh, Sister Flight, if you, if, you, if you feel like it. Uh, we're going to start at the 35th verse. Now, now let me, let me, uh, let me uh, say this. If, if you get ready to go to Walmart, you got to make the trip, right? Yes. Hello. If you're going to Charleston, am I right? You got to leave the Walmart to get to Charleston. The point I'm trying to make is you can't stay where you at. I, I mean, I ain't no fisherman, but uh, I know if that water is green, chances are the fish ain't no good. If the water has become stagnant, y'all know what I'm saying? Okay. My mama used to use a term: "Sit down, don't never say move." You catch up with it next week. You, you understand what I'm saying? And then we 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 allow that to flow in our chair. Watch this day today. I'm gonna get him in a minute, mom. We point at it. We promise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him in a minute. Amen. Make your bed, baby. I'm going to get it, Mom. You ain't need to go in my room. What? Go ahead, Kelly, man. Yes. 
Okay, that's something that's what y'all can identify with, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Praise me, my children. I'm going to get you next week, Jesus. I got some things to do this week, but I'm going to get you next week. Remember, Lord, I'm going to church next week. What do I tell you? Uh -huh. <laughs> am, I, am I happy or not? Y'all see where I'm going? 137 years I've kept this place of worship prepared for you. And we don't have a short time, and we're going to be the history of the church ourselves. Amen. So I thank God for this opportunity today. I thank him for all of those that were before us. Amen. Uh, I, I can remember, uh, anybody had a moment with a dead eye? You acting up in church, she ain't going to say nothing. Once she put, she put that eye on you. You know you got one on the book. You, you follow what I'm saying? I'm reflecting back to my youngest granddaughter uh, told my older sister one day, said, all these seats in this church, you got to sit by me? And she said, yeah. Why? And my sister pulled out the belt. Yeah, I need to sit by you. I'm going to train you. Amen. Amen. But them days ago, but we thank God for it anyway. Uh, what did I say, how Reverend the Blue was saying? If you don't know me by now, you ain't never going to know me. If you don't realize that it's me that woke you up this morning, when no longer come, if you don't realize that every breath you take, I give it to you. Even when you can't see on the inside of your body, I keep all your organs working. I'm in the wrong house. If you can't see me at work, you will never. If you don't see me telling you to your face, you're not in jail because you're not guilty. You're not in there because I had mercy. Amen. 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 Y'all all right? Amen. And I thank God that, that, that mercy is a prevalent, uh, one of his soldiers. And I love mercy. Amen. Mercy will be on your behalf. Amen. But all of you people looking for justice, come on. Because why you want justice on somebody else? Justice said, wait a minute, Lord, let's pull the cover back. They already forgot what they got under the road. Yeah. I'm in the wrong house there today. If you don't know it by now, chances are you ain't never, ever gonna know him. Yeah. If you know him, he's not coming to do nothing that he already gave you authority and power over. Come on, let me help you this morning. Come on, come on. Pray for me, Red. Pray, pray what? You just pray for my room. You're dying. You understand what I'm saying? And before you have somebody else to pray for you, look in this book and be reminded he told you go in your secret closet. Hmm. Did you catch it? Amen. If they don't know it, then they'll be a good day. Hello, somebody. If you're not saved, today will be a good day to say, Lord, I surrender. Can we look at this? Amen. It might not catch up with you till next week sometime. But this is what he gave me. This is what I brought. Mark chapter 4, beginning at verse 35. And the same day, when the even was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. Sister Polite, pause right there on that, on that 36th verse. And do a double take. And when they had sent him away, the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. 
-hmm. And there were also with him other little ships. And when you're doing Jesus' business, sometimes you got to separate yourself. Mm -hmm. How in the world do you expect to get an answer to prayer? You got the television going? Mm -hmm. You're on the cell phone? Mm -hmm. huh? You're cussing somebody out in the house? <laughs> Your prayer didn't go nowhere. Did, did you catch it? And just suppose God balanced the scale. And you said, Lord, I need you right now. He said, I hadn't heard from you in six months. I had other things that came up that were just a little bit more important than me giving you some worship and some praise. He said, I stood and knocked at the doors of your heart and you failed to let me in. If you don't know it, uh -huh. by now, if you can't see his handiworks in your life, chances are you ain't never going to get to know it. You ever been sick and tired of being sick and tired for anything to change? Something got to change. I'm in the wrong house. Right there. Hello, somebody. Can I, can I show you how serious this thing is? The Bible says when you get married, there's no more twain. There's one. The problem is there's two souls. I ain't going to hell because it's a polite moment ago. Y'all catch it? Somebody got to make a step. Listen to me. When the Bible says that the strong must bear the infirmity of the weak, you're doing it every day, you just don't realize it. We pray for our children who don't even bow for themselves. And God is so gracious and so merciful until he says to you, since you keep in my statutes and my commandment, I'm going to bless you see, even though they don't deserve it. I'm in the wrong house every day. So Jesus, it comes at the end of the day. Those of you that know facts of real life, you ever had to deal with sickness? Mm -hmm. It seems like it get worse at night, don't it? Yes. Huh? Yes. It, when the sun go down, you think it's a you think it's time for you to get some rest? Mm -hmm. That boy in the closet, mm -hmm. looking for an opportunity to attack you, even while you're sleeping. The problem is we have no defense. Because without Jesus, you got nothing. Amen. With Jesus, you got everything. For he said, in his name, you could command Satan. Yes, right. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Then we, we live in fickle. When trouble comes, amen. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus. No, you don't want to see him to get none of Jesus' blood. Because if he, if he gets some of Jesus' blood, he's going to be delivered. Y'all catching this? You just some cliches we pick up, don't search it. And it ain't got no value. It don't make no common sense. It don't make no spiritual sense. It don't make no theological sense. Nobody know you like you know you. Amen. Amen. And that nobody knows you like God knows you because he said, I know that the strands are there on your head. And if you ball head, he number where the air walls. I ain't trying to be comical now. He know where every strand walks. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, can I go from that? Amen. Uh, amen. Amen. And there arose a great storm of wind, 37. And the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. Storm, somebody say storm. You're going to have them in your life. And when the storms of life is raging, I need Jesus to stand by me. And the storms of life will rage in all aspects of your life, financially, you ain't going to be up all the time. You ain't going to be in good health every day. Huh? You, you ain't going to have solid friends and acquaintances all the time. They turn on you. 
But one thing I know that won't turn on you is Jesus. Amen. Amen. In fact, that's your only friend. Y'all must live in a glass bubble. We live in a world today where mothers turn on their daughters. Yeah. Fathers turn on their sons. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And when you get old in age, you got to be careful. Right. Who knows about your policy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can see that you want. I ain't see it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Be, be careful now when you, when you get a little old. And you ain't got to die. Just get sick a minute. And see who got your checkbook. All right. See who got your debit card. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know what's so sad? You forget that if you keep living, you're going to be old too. Amen. Five kids. Everybody got three, four cars in the yard. We arguing about who going to the grocery store to get mama medicine. All right. Now. Or I need gas money. Amen. Keep living. That's all I can say. Keep living. There's nothing new under the sun. We must be sleeping because the Bible said these days will come. Yes, yes. Mm. Here we go. They're on the ship. Jesus is resting. And there comes the storm. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Um, Closer to going home than I am to staying here. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We are all closer to going home than we are to staying here. Yeah, let me find out these other things. Your days been numbered. Now, the only thing to take you out of here before your appointed time is disobedience. You, you understand what I'm saying? And it's, it's amazing how we hop on little children about being obedient, but we old people. You got some nasty old people. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. 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 You know, I mean, get the lady all the time. But I guarantee you, none of you have ever heard me call him crying. I don't qualify. Amen? Amen. Uh, maybe I'll catch that one next week. <laughs> and I ain't got no nickname. But if you call me Prince, make sure you qualify. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, let me go on from there. Y'all look like y'all got lost. Because, see, y'all, 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 this lady, kids call you anything. And my daughter, my, my daughter, my mom is my best friend. Well, she done lost my hood. Thank you, Lord. Hmm? Me, me and my dad, we, we tight, man. That, my dad is my best friend. He done lost fatherhood. You understand know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Stay in your lane. Amen. I'm going to stay in my lane. You stay in your lane. We're going to do fine. And I don't even mind you calling me old Sue. You just pray to get to old Sue. Can we get back to this? Sister? Right. Amen. And he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carries there not that Carries thou not that we perish? Ain't we there today? We ain't got time for God for nothing. <laughs> Until trouble get to the house. Oh, Lord Jesus. Father, please come right now. Amen. My little granddaughters. Was praying a prayer one time and said, Lord, I know you ain't heard from us in a long time. <laughs> but we need you now. <laughs> and when you come, Jesus, please bring some snacks. <laughs> no, no, this ain't no lie here. No, 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 no. No, no. This ain't no lie here. Daddy, not eat up all the snacks. <laughs> when you get through laughing, catch the essence of it. Shut up. 
Lord knows how to call Jesus when they are in distress. What about old people? If you put something in them, it'll come to life. Mm. I, I don't believe the pulpit is ever a place to be joking. You understand what I'm saying? But can I just drop this on you? The teacher asked the little boy, said, do you have a nickname? He said, yeah, my mama called me that little mother. <laughs> the teacher calls the mother and said, what kind of mess is that? You give the child a nickname like that. She said, you ain't had him but a minute. <laughs> From 8 to 10, the teacher calls back, you need to come get this little. <laughs> See, y'all laughing because you don't go to the school. It ain't nothing to that school but what you sent out of your house. That's, that, that's all at the school. Don't, don't blame the teachers. They ain't, ain't their job to raise them. It's their job to educate them. I'm in the wrong house here. Mm. So they, they sleep, and the song comes, they, they cry to Jesus. They, listen, you don't care. Huh? I'm a member of your team. You don't care that we are about to perish? Amen. Y'all catch this. Who were they with? Jesus. They were who? Jesus. And they calling it? Yes. Make sense out of this now. I'm with Jesus. I'm a part of your posse. I done walk up and down with you and see you speak words that perform miracles. And you mean to tell me I panic so much I can't speak the words you put in me? I'm in the wrong house today. Jesus said, in my name, you can tell mountains. They got to move. I'm in the wrong house here. You, you got what I'm saying? You, you, you understand what I'm saying? We, we should be so endowed with the power of Christ until when Satan attacks us, you tell him, shoot your best shot. I ain't going nowhere. I got this. You got what I'm saying? I'm, I'm tell you what, everybody ain't sleep though. I bear witness to a miracle the other day. I can't talk about it because it ain't my story to tell. But I bear witness to a miracle the other day. And, and, and you know what? I, 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 was telling, I was telling my buddy, I said, listen, Jesus don't need nothing new to put in your body. Since he's the architect of your body. Master, correct that. Which done gone messed up. I'm in the wrong house here today. You understand what I'm saying? And, and if you got the faith to walk in that, God is able to deliver that. Lord, li listen, Lord, I know my mind done got jacked up. I'm doing the same things I've never done before. Lord, please, sir, work on my mind. Can, can, I, can I tell you, David said, Lord, my heart jacked up. It ain't rotten. It just ain't no good. Please, sir, watch what he said. Don't use nothing that's already in there. Create means make something from nothing. Create in me a clean heart and renew within me the right spirit. Listen to me if you still got the same attitude from five years ago. Chances are you ain't gonna know it. You understand what I'm saying? If everything in your life you did it, come on, come on. I pray you don't fall and your God fall with you, cause neither one of y'all gonna get up. Y'all catching this? Read, read. And he arose and he rebuked the wind and oh. said unto the sea, Peace, be still. No, 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 sister, lady, you should take a seat, cause I need to work this one here. Amen. Jesus did what? He rebuked Saul? Okay, let me let you know right there. God didn't send the Saul. Because 
he would never rebuke the works of his father. Right. Sin sends the stone. He's able to rebuke the stone. Next thing I want to tell you, I've been by bedsides where the doctor said, that's it, ain't nothing else we can do. And just the word, peace, be still, will take pain off a of body. Amen. That, 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 that grudgeful thing you got going on, you, you think you can't turn loose? Ask God to give a peace in it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm in the wrong house here. That thing you've been accused of, you can't fight everything. That's right. And then you, you're fighting with the wrong weapon. Knife and a gun ain't going to clear that up. If you get down on your knees and say, Lord, give me some peace in this situation. If you ask him, he's just enough to do it. Yes, he will. They on the stone with Jesus and ain't got no power. And he said, behold, I give you power. One thing about fear and power in Christ has got to be cultivated. What you got in church last Sunday? Hmm. Need a double portion for the week out. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? Lord, help my unbelief. If I can't touch it, taste it, or smell it, I don't believe it. Keep living. Y'all catch this? Amen. Everything ain't the devil. But this situation is the devil. He sends a storm, water, raging, lightning, flashing, thunder rolling. And can you imagine just these words, peace? The storm start raging. The lightning start flashing. The thunder stop rolling. Peace. When you read the Bible, you never see where Jesus said, good morning, good evening. He visits he visit you or, or whatever. He come in contact with you. He said, peace be unto you. Peace. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Peace be unto you. You know, that's a good practice. Because I've been here a long time. I've had people walk up to me and say, whatever, how you doing? I'm all right. I've never had anybody walk up to me and say, have you heard from the Lord? Mm -hmm. I need a word today. Have you heard from God? And then if you want to ask me, have I heard from God, you pray for me Amen. that I've heard from God. Amen. I'm in the wrong house here today. Amen. And, 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 and my sisters and my brothers, if, if you can't see him by now, if you can't bear witness by now that he is, then we're in trouble. You got what I'm saying? Read. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? No faith. Couldn't have said that. They couldn't have said that. Said, Blaine, you better read that again because they couldn't have said that. They, you mean they're walking with it? <laughs> they, they seen all the miracles he performing? You know, sometimes it's good for you to be in some various places even when it's not palatable, it's beneficial. I've seen miracles. I've seen situations where there's no hope. Who's still in charge? God. God. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Hmm? Hey, you know, since I'm right here, can I, can I help you? You church folk, 
with fickle minds. God will never do anything that's against his will. Everybody's sick, they ain't gonna be healed. Why, red flag? We're gonna die from something. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Did he do you wrong? No. Here's another thing. Have some common sense. None of us want to lose loved ones. Right? Right. Do you know how selfish you are to want them to stay here and get no better? And you still want them to stay here when God already has a new body. Lord, have mercy. I want to show thank you this morning, Lord. Amen. It's all right to go home with him with no leg. You got a new body waiting. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. I'd rather go to heaven with one eye than to go to hell with two and wearing glasses. Huh? If your eyes offend you, cast it away. Can we go? I'm going to wrap this up. Amen. Y'all all right? Yes. Uh -huh. You going to take this home with you? Yes. Uh -huh. Don't, 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 and don't, don't, don't take this word and say, I know somebody like that. <laughs> take this word and say, you know what? I'm in that. I'm, I'm in that. I'm in that. And you know what? In the beginning, I told you about compassion. Compassion is when you are able to feel the pain of another. I thank you for compassion. So you wonder why? You're cussing me out and I'm praying for you. That's my makeup. You ought to try it. Instead of saying that old heifer, Lord, that's my sister. She just left the building for a minute. But she'll be back. I pray that you bring her back. Everybody here ought to have a word that you could give somebody. And God will put you in a situation where you can give the word. Not faith. Read. And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? What manner of man is this? I've been slowful. I've been stingy. I've been dirty. I'm a liar. I'm a hypocrite. And he's still waking me up. Thank you. I don't walk among the halves. I walk among the half nuts. Yes. But he keep feeding me every day. You understand what I'm saying? He, he, yeah, I got some pills in the cabinet. But it keeps me functioning. Yeah, you get in the leg, you figure that out. I don't care who you are. You're going to have to get you a tune up every once in a while. Just like you can't have found in the shop, go to the doctor and get a tune up. <laughs> And I wouldn't fool around with over the counter too much. <laughs> Make sure you're getting the right stuff to keep you functioning. Sometimes you gotta get an oil change. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta drop some old ways and get some new oil in you. Huh? Sometimes the plugs are gonna go bad. You'll know that you ain't got the fire you used to have. Get a tune up. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and communication. Amen. Communication. There's always in the church exactly what you need. Amen. If you communicate. A few days ago, I have no air conditioning. 
just a word, my air conditioning ain't functioning, says, you need a compressor. You need this, you need that. Thank God for YouTube and my son. Went on YouTube, find out there's a relay. Going to the air condition, went bad. $10.19. Come on, Come on. Me being ignorant now, the mechanic going to put a four unit on, on the car when I. Y'all see what I'm saying? If, but I was talking to uh, Brother Benjamin, and he told me what the relay was. And he saved me all that money. Why? Because we communicate. That's right. That's right. Sometimes we're looking for help in all the wrong places. And women folk, y'all don't know nothing about no car. Don't be at the mercy of mechanics. That's right. Ask somebody. Y'all got what I'm saying? Let me get back to this. Do you think you want to know it? And kids, you don't know it. His father sent him to die for us. Yes, right. His mother still headlined the Catholic Church. His father is the author of this book right here that will outlast time and eternity. Yes. Yes. He turned water into wine. Thank you, Lord. Gave sight to the blind. Yes. Had the greatest fish fry mm -hmm. ever known to man. Because he took two little fish and five loaves and fed 5,000. I'm in the wrong house here today. This man called down to the grave and tell a man that been dead for four days. Spirit already out of the box. The spirit had to come back get back in the body and not just walk out of the grave. And you think your situation is dead, I dare you. I dare you to give it to him. I didn't say give it to me. Don't give it to your mama, your daddy, your sister, and your brother. Give that situation to Jesus. I got one more thing. When he speaks, Tell me, how can a dead man, dead for four days, hear his voice? Here come that word again. Hearken to it and come out of the grave. Jesus ain't no yo-yo. Even when he called Lazarus from the grave, he told the people, y'all unwrap it. So when you're looking for a miracle, you got a part to play in it. I'm not going to unwrap him. I call him out. You unwrap it. You understand what I'm saying? If you want it, unwrap your heart today. You understand? Don't get upset because you're slowful. Acknowledge that you're slowful. And then put on your traveling shoes. We are no different from Israel. That's all they did all their life. Take God's blessing and run off and follow other gods until things got tight. And then they would come back to God. Well, I'll tell you this morning. Jeremiah 3, the Lord says, come on back to me. On, you backsliders, I got you. I'm married unto you. When you come back, I'm not going to leave you sitting there dumb. I'm going to send you pastors that will teach you the knowledge and understand. Yes, Thank you, Lord. If you just Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. to repent, he's just to forgive and just to restore. Amen. We all got storms in our life. Yes. Can, I, can I tell you? Since I belong to God, it's impossible for me to lay my head on a pillow and know you're going through something. Amen. And they even got enough compassion to pray for you. You understand what I'm saying? We all go through some stuff. Amen. Right? Amen. And just as I pray for you, I pray that some of y'all yes, sometime will pray for me. Yes, God bless you. God bless you.
Amen. And can I tell you? Learn how to loose your lips. Learn how to loose your lips. What I mean is don't be ashamed to praise him. Praise him. Thank you, Lord. Don't be ashamed to glorify him. Yes, Lord. You got to get rid of your shame faced in this. You know, if I praise him, they're going to think I'm from. Well, God knows your heart. Amen. 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 I'm in the wrong house at a bed. When, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego failed to bow, how did anybody know that they didn't bow? Somebody had to have been watching them for the purpose of destroying them. Y'all all right? Every good thing ain't a godly thing. Amen. Amen. I don't have a buddy system. I have a Jesus system. And then whoever he sends to my rescue, I got enough sense to accept. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. I still have this question I want to ask. Is anybody here today not sure whether you say there's a good day? It's a good day to give your life to Christ. Is anybody here not saved? Father, we trust you 
And we ask in this morning that you give us peace that's beyond all understanding. And dear Lord, we have done all that you have assigned to our hands. Dear Lord, we ask that you bring the remnants back. Bring the ones who have strayed. Bring all the ones who have decided, dear Lord, this morning that there was something else that they would rather do. Father, we ask that you touch them also. Father, we ask this small petition in the name of your son, Jesus. And let every heart say amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. We prepare ourselves for communion. Uh, in Jesus' name. You know, this ritual we do it over and over. But I want you to ask yourself the question today. Why do I drink this wine? And why do I eat this bread? Amen. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take it. Eat this, my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This ye do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. I pray that every person would search their hearts. Amen. Amen. But it's been a life-changing decision in Jesus' name. Oh, let us break bread together on our knees.
after that, they sang a song and was dismissed. Amen. Oh, you want to take the Lord with you? Show sure. them. Thank you. 